Okay, welcome to my 100% farming guide. As you can see, I've got all the rare plants growing. Go through them a little bit. Pomba's grub plant in the middle there. Jack Skellington's pumpkin. Mickey's chocolate tree. Sugar Rush lollipop. Scrooge's money tree. Minnie Mouse's cupcake. Some of them look really cool. Pizzas. Cheerios. Winnie the Pooh. Honey pot. Oh, I think that pretty much covers it. There's some cotton candy growing somewhere. But we've got the lot. We've got our psychics beavering away, all watering just to promote the growth of the trees and the plants. Um, we've got all the tools, as I can show you in here. One of my psychics is maxed out and he can use everything. I haven't grinded out maxing the other two as yet. Normal watering can, advanced watering can, a farm hoe, basic, advanced, and the pro. Now, to get to this point, it's took me about seven days in <laughs> real time, simply because some of these crops take about 24 hours to, to grow. I will stick a description or a link, or rather a link in the description, um, to a guide that I followed a little bit. Or you can just Google it to see what the times of these things are. Um, there's three main things to get in this far. There's the basics, there's grinding, and there's time. It just takes time. Okay, the basics. You're going to want to run the plotting for plants missions. I know it sounds obvious, but you need to get to a point where you've got the farming hoe and the first five hats. That's the carrot, the sunflower, the corn, the lettuce, and the tomato. Now, I stayed in this area just simply because it's free and you haven't got to set anything up. The main things I'm growing are sunflowers and carrots, mostly carrots, simply because carrots build up your look stat. Uh, the sunflowers do the tools, but I want to build up the look stat as high as possible, as quick as possible, because that gives you more chance of growing a rare plant. And as you can see, I got a pizza. Not cropped it yet. Let's have a little look, should get the hat. Boom, there's the hat. So now I'm going to start growing mostly pizzas and carrots. That will hopefully promote the growth of the next rare plant. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is run the amazing treasure hunt missions, running the three mazes over and over again. Now, I do this with a flying character because I'm only in here specifically looking for the treasure chest, which will hopefully drop something for the farm. If it doesn't drop something for the farm, then it's going to help to wean out the other stuff until the farm stuff does finally drop. Now, I keep my psychic active simply because every now and again, you will invariably get in a fight, and that helps to build his stats up. It's worth bearing in mind that the three psychics that you start with, Mabel, Robin Hood and Felix, their stats will max out at 24 by feeding them alone. So coming in here and getting in a few fights is the only way you're going to be able to get them high enough to use the advanced watering can and the pro hoe. Okay, so when you run all three mazes, you're going to come out into this area. You should have by now five chests, one from the first maze and two from each of the second and third mazes. This one here is going to be number six. Yeah. Ooh, that looks kind of funky. Yeah? Um, and then the important thing here is not to go through the door. If you go through the door and then back into the maze, it's just going to reset everything. You want to be pressing this button and running the mazes again simply because that will leave the chests in the same place they were the first time you ran it it's going to save you loads of time and loads of hassle okay time so it took me about 24 runs of the mazes to get everything i needed for the farm that's 60 mazes in total while i was running the mazes i kept popping back here and cropping the farm feeding the psychic up trying to build his looks that up as much as possible and then replanting the farm as I said before, you want to be planting half your farm with the latest crop that you've got the hat for, and the other half of the farm you want to be planting something that builds the look stat up on your psychic as much as possible. Okay, tools wise, with the hose, I avoid the advanced hoe because it just does weeds. If you've got the pro, uh, if you've got the basic and the advanced hoe, go for the basic because it's got more chance of growing a rare crop. The watering cans, a bit of a weird one these. They're supposed to just grow bigger plants, but I've found that 
they can speed up the growing process. I've had plants that should take 24 hours to crop and they've cropped in 12 hours. The last thing to say is that as you're working your way through this, you are going to get the bits that you need for your own farm and your own toy box, the farm plot, the flower pot, and as you get the 20th vegetable, you're going to end up with a super grow plot. I haven't had a chance to have a go with a super grow plot yet, so I don't know what it does. But that pretty much covers everything. Within about a week, you should have a fully fledged farm like this one. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Either way, thanks for watching.